uh, the story of our girls, our, our football team. Uh, the news break for uh, FCT last week when they talked about what is happening at, uh, you know, o o o o over there, that these players are not being taken care of, that their salaries are they've been old salaries for 18 good months. And for now, in spite of all the rebuttals, the thing is that money has been released and they've not seen the money. But apart from that, we're also looking at this story, like we are trying to get in, uh, in touch with them at Aqua Ibom, you know, the Ibom, Ibom Queens. Uh, also, these are this, uh, the, the Ibom Queens story. Angels? Yeah, that here, here is uh, uh, a team that have been on a, on half on half salary on half salary since January. Yeah. Here is a team that uh, they don't, you know only those who make the, the team, first team the get first team get feeding allowance. Wow. I mean they are at the hostel they are staying. Mm. They have they've not paid the light bill that you know the PSN have disconnected and carried the wire away. Mm. They can't pump water. They mm. can't pump water for them to use. So uh, they, uh, they, no light. No light. Gentlemen, we, yeah. if they, we, we we are asking uh, maybe the commissioner of sport for Aqua Ibom State, please. Uh, why don't you try to visit the camp of the Ebom Queens and find out exactly what the, the situation is. Things, yeah. uh, uh, we, are, we are saying it here because we understand that who, actually that is the state that hosted the Super Eagles, yeah. hosted the Under-17, yeah. hosted everything. So, I mean, this is their own team. I don't think that they will deliberately neglect uh, this, they, they, I think there is a kind of a disconnect exactly. somewhere. somewhere. In, in, the, in the FCT Queens Abuja issue, I think it's got to do with um, administrative bottlenecks. Okay. More or less. But for 18, 18, 18, 18 months, 18 18 months, months that salary eight, eight, is totally eight, unacceptable. Eight, eight, you, see, you see, Jimmy, if you look at the, the people involved in this, yeah. that there have been uh, allegations and counter allegations. The uh, di director of sports, of uh, sports in the ministry, yeah. Ali Musa, is yeah. saying he has done everything to get fund. Yes, the minister has not released the fund. Swan rose up to the defense of the minister, saying he that, tells that you about the political that, 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 that the minister that the minister had released the, uh, the, the fund. Yes. But what we know is that sports comes under the purview of the minister of state. Yeah, okay, that uh, uh, yeah, my, yeah, my, 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 Madam Akijide. Mm. So uh, then Chuku Dili Onyedima, who is the Head of the female league is the chairperson of that. Uh, uh, and person. for 18 uh, months, they have been paid. They, 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 they don't be paid. And you want these girls to perform at the highest level, you want them and, to give their it best. Has a it is of turning them into prostitutes. They are already resorting to prostitution. And those are allegations. Of course, you can't say whether they are prostitutes or not. You can't say they are prostitutes, but we are saying they are going through hard times. Hard times. And then this needs to be done. And then you look at it because the FCT is a buoyant. State, yeah, it's a state of its own yeah. by Nigerian standard. Yeah. Uh, uh bomb is a buoyant state by Nigerian standard, yeah. and those, those, this our female. The, mm. It is easy for the male to eke out livings out high. Mm. But the female, uh, they, they have their physiognomy, they have well, they 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 what about you know they, if, mm. anything about them is quite is is is, is, is quite well. So for them to be drawing to you know uh, pay, buy, buy water where they are paying with a half salary, right. for them not to be you know to be fed unless you make the team, that is where they give you feeding that's allowance. That, that's totally if unacceptable. Those, if these things are mm. true, because we have done we have tried to get our facts right before coming here, we are asking the commissioner of mm. sport, mm. Aqua Ibom State, mm. and uh, like the, uh, the FCT, just said, yeah. the FCT, please look into the, the, the welfare of these our girls. female uh, uh, younger ones who are representing your, your particular state. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. must also say this. The minister at a meeting uh, with uh, 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 stakeholders last week said, uh, read the riot act to club owners and proprietors that you, you must, must take care, your you must pay your players. You I mean, must take care of their welfare. You see, sometimes during uh, last week, I, we, we read in the news that uh, Atlan yeah, is paying 5% of uh, sign-on fees of uh, players. Mm. They will pay the uh, remaining. This is not done which anywhere. Are, which, players, you have proper contracts, and they should be paid as... I mean, which are, which Welcome back. It is the channel spot on Sunday, and the house is full. Uh, yes, I'm starting... From the athlete, the man who writes athletics and write it with so much fat because he's always there. Dure Kazabi, Dure, how are you? Fine. Welcome pleasure. to Channel Spot on Sunday. A pleasure. See, you have not introduced me. He's a board member. Okay. <laughs> I board member. Let's start from. Okay, he's a board member. Board member. Uh, uh, the, uh, the man who is today the board member is also <laughs> the head of the board member. <laughs> he's chairman of the board himself in Lagos. <laughs> Lagos Sport. Let, let me make one okay. question. Okay, all right, yes. Um, the board member is very into. It's not athletics. Okay, the, that is tennis. tennis. Okay, tennis board. So we are talking athletics here. Okay, so he should not talk about tennis. No, he shouldn't talk about. He should tennis. forget we it. We are talking athletics here. Yes, those who drive our sports. 
They are here. Okay. And the man who is not talking, the man who is talking is, of course, our chairman. So he has a right to moderate this program. <laughs> chairman Lagos one. So this is his stuff. And then the man in the middle, we are trying to be looking for that gold medal. Uh, they say, this one, we, know, we are not waiting for Gudu because finally, where we thought it has arrived. Any of you, Udo, Obong, any? It's a pleasure. I'm happy to be here. Yes, one day you'll be called the Obong, Obong. <laughs> it, you'll be, but then you'll be the Obong of Obong, right? Yeah. <laughs> because you're already Obong. Yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are happy to have a, a, a gold medalist here with us because this is uh, what it is all about. We're going to talk athletics today, but, but before we start, uh, um, before we, we do that, I want to start with Fred. Fred, uh, the minister talked about minimum wage and what should be paid. I mean, well, you, do you have, what, what are your reservations? If it, why do you think? Oh, oh, for the league, yes. for the football league, yes. Nigerian uh, Global Football League. Yes. Well, the minister said yes. You have to pay um, minimum one hundred thousand thereabouts. Um, clubs must pay. They must pay their areas, whatever they owe, sign on fees and all that. Very good because uh, at least a liberal deserves his wage, and they must, we must set standards. I mean, we know what football is all over the world. Uh, people are making money from it, so why not our local athletes? You see, but having said that, I think that the minister should also go a bit further to say, if you want the clubs to pay the players well, then we have to look at the windows through which the clubs make money. You know, and one of the important windows is through TV rights. Uh, the way the TV right is administered in this country now is a bit frightening. We have a situation where the actual operator of the broadcast pays about 650 million to a middleman. And then the middleman pays the entire league system 150 million and holds back 500 million. And the minister is saying, please, clubs should pay. And we are saying, you are aware that there is, there is so much gap between 150 and 500. And the true value of this broadcast right, somebody is actually holding to it with some of his friends in the name of business. Business sometimes you have regulation. But the bottom line is, hey, how can two, three people have 500? And then 20 clubs and over 1,000 players have 150. And you're saying pay. The clubs should, the, 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 they should unbundle the system in such a way that the clubs will actually get this money and pay the players. That is TV rights. Now when it comes to the title sponsorship rights, we have found a situation where in the past four or five years, the, the, the bid for the sponsorship right, title sponsorship right has not been competitive. You know, we, we keep going back to... But it has been sealed. I mean, that, that is Yeah, not it's, it's not competitive. There's so much politics about it. There is so much man-no-man -no -man about it that it keeps revolving around one place. And where there is no competition, you cannot actually get people who will come to raise the value. So the, the title sponsorship has remained at a certain level for, for so long a time. I think, I think, sorry to cut in here, because um, mm. so coming from... Uh, an outside view, you, yes. you, are, you are saying things that are very genuine and need mm. to be sorted out, but it really has nothing to do with what the minister says. Mm. It is not the minister to talk, look into the marketing of the league. Yeah. It is not the minister to look into the title sponsorship. Yeah. The minister has given that, look, like, these are Nigerian players and yes. we need to have a standard for wages of Nigerian players. Exactly. Now, the professional body, the league body or whatever, or exactly. the NFF, should exactly. go and find a way to exactly. sort out their marketing and their issue. Yeah, exactly. But the minister's directive should not even put hand in those things, otherwise yeah. we start having um, FIFA problems again. Yeah. No, no, no. I think if I may come in. Yeah, Drew, yes. Mm -hmm. um, it goes beyond the way we are looking at it. Yeah. The issue of the broadcast right has been at the center of the crisis that engulfed the league. Okay. And it took the intervention of the minister and a few other people of goodwill for them to be able to resolve this crisis. I think along the line, somehow, they appeared, uh, uh, the people that, uh, that settled the crisis appear to have been silent on the issue of, of the, the broadcast rights. Right. Okay. Because you cannot say you have settled the crisis that is in the league and you left the actual uh, cause of the problem. In the hands of the people that got that, that were, let me use that word that broke out the deal, and you are, will see accepting the 150 million they are paying to the clubs. No, I want to ask. I want to ask this. Yeah. Let, 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 let me, I want to ask a question. Yeah. I want to ask a question here. The broker's right. Uh, uh, was it given? Is it is it the league that has a broker's right, or is it a body that has a broker's right on behalf of the league? Well, well let, let, let us put it this way. Um, I, 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 I want to say that Duro has, has at least answered an effort, you understand, by saying that the minister intervened. So he's aware of these things. He has a role to play. 
and he has played some role. And we are saying that you have not fulfilled what is supposed to be the end game. Because at the end of the day, the clubs, the players have 150 million. And then the business people have 500 million. Hey, the, come on. the clutch we run as um, either a business or as an entity, yes. one, mm. and they should also have, on the second part, they should have, I don't know if they have club association. No, 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 and they should come let, together. Let me, let me just say, we have a situation right now, yeah, we used to have the association of the clubs, you know, who should actually um, uh, market their league, so to speak. But right now, we all have the, the league management company that has been set up by the system, you know, and they have been given the mandate to handle all these matters on behalf but, of but the club. Fred, Fred yeah. but even then, the, the clubs still have their own market. They can still market them. No, 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 listen, yes. listen, listen. No, no, Fred, the thing is, you are yes. missing a point here. Mm. The English Premiership we are all talking about, yeah. it is what it is today mm. because of the TV. The, the TV money yes. that came in. Yes. Yes. Every sport it changed TV. virtually Good. everything. Every yes. okay. But, how but we, cannot allow, we cannot allow a situation where certain individuals are holding the league to ransom. So that the issue here... The is, issue yeah. is that we need to trade with our contract. I totally agree. That allow those I, I, guys I, I, to... Okay, and we, we advise, we advise that, um, that the, the contract, the league, the league, the league management uh, 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 company mm. should, um, uh, you know, as we are suggesting here, should look into, if there is to look into that particular contract mm. and see if it has to be, you know, the, the, revisit it mm. and see if there are some anomalies there mm. and so that those who work I have to say in Nigeria, some people will be working while others are chopping. Um, okay, we'll, 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 we'll be chop. Chop. Okay, so we leave that because no, after we'll you will also go further to say that no, the title sponsorship rights will also be democratized. Okay, we'll do we'll so that there can be competition and the value can rise. All right, okay. Those are the two mo mo main Those are the two major issues that yes. has to be looked into. Yes, and then that is what we are saying here. Look at them, but I do believe that uh, uh, it is this the league management committee that brokered or signed. You know, the, the, uh, uh, no, the they, 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 they didn't they inherited it. They inherited it. They inherited it's like the system is not allowing them Be, to exactly go for they, they were at a point we're looking about both legal and political solution. Okay, that, right. we, we understand that that is the issue here. Uh, okay. I mean, the minister had to come in everything. to say instead of don't divide the child, mm. you understand? Yeah. Probably let, let, let there be a middle ground. Yeah. But also, everything has a tenor. Contracts have tenors. Mm. So, but the plan that it is, you know, it's, it's, it's a, this that is elapsing. Probably they have to, you know, look at it. But if there is any clause that's okay, no, we can review clauses, yeah. at the end of a year or so. Then mm. they can use those I think clauses. The contracts even due for review. Okay, and it's due for review. In, I think by next year. Right. And I hope okay. you okay. settle it. Yes. it. Okay, please let TV write money. Let uh, the clause clause benefit like money. Right. Let the clause benefit for exactly. it maximally. All right, gentlemen. Not some people. Right. Okay, okay. Now let's let's go because we will still have time to maybe take one or two calls in this program. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when I have them in the house, uh, sometimes we we'll take the program for you. Sometimes I agree. I agree. I love uh, it when you take it for me because that's what it is. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, any. We, I thought you are coming with the gold medal. Uh, uh, first and foremost, for those of you who are watching, any uh, and uh, that was in Sydney, 2000. Sydney, 2000. That is about 13 Fantastic. years ago. Uh, uh, our four of them, there were six members of the team, but four of them ran their particularities uh, four by one. And at, at the end of the day, uh, yes, they, they, yeah, you can, you know, at the end of the day, they were so young then, they won all this, they couldn't believe that they did it, uh, <laughs> that, you know, they got uh, us, they got us uh, you know, a silver. Then. And then uh, the American team, because we we'll also look at that, the American team that actually won that particular race, some of them came to confess, some of them were caught, you know, uh, uh, drug cheating, and they said, no, you can, if you cheated, it is not your medal. This medal belonged to Nigeria, that, you know, sent people who are drug free and ran that race, you know, naturally. So, 13 years on, actually thought the medal was has arrived because when i spoke with any i wanted to put on that medal here on this program today any you ran the anchor you ran that last race you were behind i don't know you ran so much because you uh, told or by the time you took the batting you were about three you were about three or something in front of you and then you kept on going okay uh, uh, can you just give take a minute take us to the race and let us know why the medal is not here <laughs> well it was um a race that we really prepared for a race that we spent a lot of time about two months in australia training for and we went in there i was the youngest in the team mm -hmm. and um, i was given the big responsibility of running the anchor at the ex um, expense of um, more senior athletes or more experienced people like the late sunday bada who was our team captain but we went in there believing that we could do something we could try something and at the end of the day as god will have it um, we played second um, yes, the IOC has said that we are legally the winners, we are the rightful winners, and um, they have sent the medal. 
and then the medal is in Nigeria. <laughs> the medal is located in Abuja, and then the medal will soon reach Lagos. Uh, when it does, we will be seen here first on Channel TV. Wow! That, yeah, 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 take that, take that. Yeah. When the medal comes, yeah, that right this day, we're we'll fighting for this medal. Channel Television, you're going to see it. Whatever it is, <laughs> that medal will be here. You will see it live. The gold medal that was won, won at Sydney. Uh, 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 okay. any, any, uh, it took a lot for this thing to come as it is. Uh, um, uh, what, 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 what were they, just, I, I still want to take you take a minute or so. What, what, what was involved up to this particular moment? I say, do we have all the six medals? Oh, yes. Um, first of all, we like to um, educate people that four people run the relays, yeah. but because we had three rounds, we had the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals, we interchanged our team with six people. We were very blessed to have six fantastic runners, mm. and um, everybody that took part in the relay will get a medal. So, uh, what happened was that, um, Eight years, um, eight years ago, I think, four years ago, <clears throat> the IAAF sanctioned that we are the rightful winners, that the Americans, uh, out of the six runners, four of them had been caught for drugs on different occasions, occasions. So we are the rightful winners. But unfortunately, it's not the IAAF events. It's the Olympic event, which okay. belongs to the IOC. Okay. So while the IAAF recognized us as champions, the IOC didn't recognize us as champions. They took some more of dangling and protest and uh, writing and lobbying before one of the biggest um, members of the American team, the great Michael Johnson, says that, look, he doesn't feel it's um, morally right for him to keep the medal, and he returned the medal that it's not the, the team, is, uh, it's a tainted medal. So the IOC now, I think um, we are able to have the political will, power, to hand us the medal. And so at the start of the London Games, they announced that um, the gold medal of Sydney was how awarded to Nigeria. So we'd like to tell people that in London, we didn't come up with a medal. We came up with a goal. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, Nigeria should so remember that. So you ran the race in, at, at, at City. I've yeah. got the goal yes. in London. <laughs> so it wasn't a fruitless. But at the end of the day, there was a little controversy along the way, as we all know. Um, yeah. When you're given a medal, you're supposed to return the one you're given. You can't have two medals because for one race. Because they have to upgrade. They have to upgrade, yes, yeah. because they have to give the silver to the other people okay. and, then, and so forth. So... Um, during that period, um, the IOC said we should return our medals. There was a little bit of um, <clears throat> confusion in how the medals were returned. We had some people in London, some in the U.S. I was in Nigeria, so I could easily give my own to the NOC. But along the way, there was a lot of um, political bickering, and it was all settled amicably. And the IOC said, okay, fine, Nigeria, you can have the gold. And in January, they sent down the gold to Nigeria. Wow. And we have been trying, between the NOC office, you know, it's very difficult. The security in Asurok is much. So the medal has finally reached Asurok. So... <laughs> It has to get down to us. So it okay, okay. It, from, it's at Asso Rock now. It's at Asso Rock now, yes. So from Asso Rock, that it will get to NS, uh, uh, the sport commission. No, a, a, no. Yeah. It, it, it won't even get to them. It's getting to us yeah. directly from directly the president. from the president. Okay. But, but, but there's something there's something a bit curious about that. Shouldn't the medal go to the NOC? Why Asso Rock really? The yeah, NOC yeah. took it to Asso Rock. Yes, 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 yes. It is. It went to Asso Rock via NOC. via the NOC. So, so you see, no, but I thought it should have been the reverse. No, 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 no. The NOC, normally, normally the NOC IOC, gives the medal. The IOC gives the, the NOC. NOC. Good. Then the NOC gives the medal to those who won. No, 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 no. The NOC has no. Or the water is in the fish. The medal is in Nigeria. But but Mr. Mr. Chairman, no, but let me on it on it. There's no rule of administration. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, um, uh, 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 what what happened is this? This is July, yeah. and the medal has not reached the runner. Yeah. And then you do nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we, it will get first of, first of all. First of all, okay. No, first of all, the runners yeah. prefer it to come from us. Ah, okay, I understand. But there's a clause. Sorry, and it's a very important thing. It's very important because when you win a gold medal. It, there's a celebration and then your national anthem is sung. Yeah. So because this was not done, in the letter to the NOC, mm. the IOC says that it should be awarded in the highest possible ceremony. Okay. It okay. is written there okay. to recognize the goal. So the letter states from the IOC that please award it to the athlete in the it highest the possible. Yeah, so it has, it has, it has, it has to be presidential. Point out, it has to be presidential. Uh, we, we, uh, for, 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 for us in athletics, mm. this is equivalent to winning the World Cup. Yes. Yeah. Because it's the highest senior yeah. athlete can attain in no, the world. No, no. And no, no. if if We're if uh, the government has actually been rewarding footballers, those who won the Nations Cup, Nations Cup is within the continent. Mm. It's not global. Yeah. Now we're saying we have Nigerians, instead of Nigerians, that have taken this country to the pinnacle of the sport. Yes. An Olympic gold medal. 
what are we saying? No, no. And the, the presidency, is so the presidency should be the one to actually honor and, this guy. And, there is no and actually, I'm expecting yes, it, it shouldn't yeah, be limited. Go, yes. It shouldn't be limited to just putting oh, the bed on their neck. Why you? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you, why are you preempting the president? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> there is but no way. The pres president. There is no way, President okay. Jonathan. Okay. Ebele, Ebele, Ebele Jonathan. We put the medal on his neck. I can tell you. And this, there's no certificate. There's no. I can put my. Okay, let's leave that to Wednesday. Let's leave that to Wednesday when the president. And he cannot disappoint me. This is not whether it is going to happen. It is how how large the package is going to be. to be. That is what you guys should be talking about. I cannot that. Okay, uh, uh, we are opening the lines, even we are opening the lines now, so that we can.